Hey, this is Jeff with TechSulu, and I'm here today with Yuval Lowy, and we're reporting for Bytes by MSDN. How are you doing today? Hello, good morning. Good morning. So we've got a couple of fun questions for you, for our, our audience. The first one is, what is the coolest technology you've come across lately? As far as technology, I think, hands down, it's the .NET Services Bus. It's a technology that enables you to basically reach into any object on any computer on the planet in, in broad strokes. And it literally is the future of all forms, in my opinion, of services and web services. On top of that, Microsoft is going to put a layer of um, configuration and composition, which are very difficult to do today, things with queuing and routing. And uh, I've spent all of my time over the last few months researching, as far as the technology time, researching on that. I just published uh, in my column in MSDN magazine uh, a white paper on it, and going to be two additional uh, articles, one on the queuing and one on the routing. That sounds awesome. It's crazy that you can actually just put your computer, like lock it into a network here and then have it accessed anywhere in the world. It's incredible. Absolutely. Um, what are the top three to five things you want to point people to this summer, technology-wise? So I think that people need to actually look now above technology. I think that um, as a whole, the high-tech industry is going to align itself with something new. I think that the tectonic plates have already shifted. If you look at where the smart money is going in the Silicon Valley, the investors are all shamelessly shifting their focus from uh, high-tech to clean-tech. I think that it's not a big secret that our economy is in a deep recession. And I think that the, uh, a number of forces are converging to use uh, clean-tech as the lever to pull the economy out of the recession. Um, if you look at how the government is channeling stimulus money and how it is uh, unleveling the playing field using taxation regulation, it really wants the money to go there. And then, so what are you, what kind of technologies should developers be looking at? So one of the enabling technologies today is the service bus. The service bus will enable any parked electric vehicle to talk to the utility or back home and any guest uh, to charge from your garage but they be built somewhere else and for the employer to do things uh, with parked cars for the utility to actually reach back into every appliance in your home and turn it on and off or control your thermostat. That's all going to be done using technology like the service bus which allow for ubiquitous uh, communication without the need to worry about static IPs or DNSs or any of that. Right, so service bus and then you'd have a WCF and on the Absolutely. person. Absolutely. And then what would be one more thing? Windows uh, uh, cloud computing in general is enabling technology because um, if you're a utility company, you have to have a level of service and expectation that no mere startup can ever expect to meet. Right, and it has to scale at, it has to at, scale at the rate of how many cars are built per year. And, and that's like an, yeah. And it has to be able to say we don't have any downtime or you know, we have a nine sigma downtime or whatever. And there's no easy way for a small company or a small player to meet this level of service, but using uh, cloud computing, you certainly can. How, how do you think that the service bus is gonna enable the developers to build this grid? Let's say like some of the, besides like electric cars, what, what are there some other uh, applications that you think it would go into? The whole uh, demand response infrastructure for the energy net will have to be based on things like uh, the service bus. Uh, imagine utility being able to transmit as far as events, uh, pricing information to every house and every home operating system and to every car wherever it is parked using whichever network it is plugged into. Imagine them sending commands into the houses and, uh, and cars, you can charge now or stop charging or I need some of your own juice to support the grid. Imagine the ability to uh, send cartel information uh, or futures information, um, the ability to search for energy providers. This is by the ways why uh, Google is so uh, gaga on it because Google today makes money from searching massively complicated networks, basically the internet, and making money from uh, uh, microtransaction. Every time you click an ad somewhere, Google, Google gets a sliver of a cent, right? So once the energy net is fully deployed, you know, probably uh, beginning of uh, the 2020s, you're going to be doing a lot of things automatically like this. I mean, who can provide me three kilowatts for the next five hours for 10 to 12 cents and no more than 15 miles from where I am right now? This is a classic kind of a search that Google will be able to provide you, I believe, or Google-like search engines. At some point, I hope that even Microsoft will catch up. Um, and they will take their own little commission out of that. So Google gets it that this is the new internet. They get it that their ability to do massive searches and sustain themselves from 
a huge volume of microtransactions is perfectly aligned with what they're already doing. So you think and that so and, 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 and technologies like the service bus is what enables you to do this constant plug and play anything to anything else. Any uh, energy provider to any energy consumer to any energy storage device to any appliance. I mean, this will eventually go down in the most sophisticated cases all the way down to the individual appliance, your own uh, uh, furnace at your home or, or your own car, down to the individual appliance. Every one of them will be connected to this energy net. Wow, that sounds like some exciting things are going to go down for that. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm very excited about that. Well, it's awesome. Well, this is Jeff Emery with TechZulu reporting for Bytes by MSN. Thank you so much. My pleasure.